to this online service. You're joining Joy Lee and today is Easter Sunday. Do you know why we celebrate Easter? It's because Jesus gave us a very special gift. In Jesus's time, while people did not realize how important, how good and how special Jesus was, they punished him even though Jesus was perfect. But Jesus accepted the punishment and he died. And he rose from the dead, in which is called the resurrection. So today, we are going to take a closer look about how Jesus died on the cross, which is called his crucifixion, and how Jesus rose from the dead, which is called his resurrection. So let's find out more. I want you to take a look at the word resurrection. I mean, this is a long word. And how many words do you think you can create using the letters of the word resurrection? Well, we're going to do that today. So I want you to pause the video and go get a, a sheet of paper and a pen or pencil. Okay. When you're ready, I'm going to have you replay the video. Okay. And I'm going to give you two minutes. And you're going to write down as many words as you can think of using the letters of the word resurrection. So I want you to pause the video and replay. Start playing again when you are ready to list all the words. There are 66 books in the Bible and we're studying one verse from each book. So that means we get to learn 66 verses together in order. Today, it is the final last book that we're going to study of the Old Testament. And do you remember how many books there are in the Old Testament? That's right, there are 39 books. So today is the last book, which is the 39th book and it is called the Malachi. What was that again? Malachi, that's right. So we're gonna all say the books of the Old Testament from the beginning all the way to Malachi. So here we go. 
Let's learn the books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges, Ruth. First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles. Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job and Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs. We're gonna learn the books of the Bible. We're gonna learn the books of the Bible. We're gonna learn the books of the Bible because we love God's Word. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, and Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, you did it! That's the Old Testament. We're gonna learn the books of the Bible. We're gonna learn the books of the Bible. We're gonna learn the books of the Bible. Because we love God's Word. So here's my power verse journal and I added the last book, Malachi. So let's take a closer look at the power verse. It comes from chapter three, verse six. Let's all read it together in one voice. Go. I am the Lord. I do not change. Amen. Now this verse is so important because it reminds us that God, he never changes and he is always constant. This is very important because the world that we're living in right now, it is constantly changing. It's never the same. The weather is changing. The seasons change. Our feelings change. Our character, I mean, our mood changes. And just everything around it is changing. But our God, who created everything, He is same always. He never changes. His love for us is saying yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. So what a great promise we have. we have been learning about the early church, the early believers, and all the stories that happened after Jesus returned to heaven. But today, because it's Easter, we're going to take a look back at the wonderful news of the entire start of Christian faith. Today's story is called Jesus' Crucifixion and Resurrection. Now, this is a very important because this story is the center of the gospel story. Now, the crucifixion means death on the cross and resurrection means 
ones rising from the dead. And the early believers, I mean, they were persecuted and they were very discouraged, but because they had hope in their savior, their Jesus Christ, they were happy. They were in joy. They didn't worry about anything. They had hope in Jesus, their savior. So we're going to find out about how Jesus's resurrection is actually bringing us joy and how the sadness is no longer there because our life is filled with joy. Jesus had been arrested and taken to Pilate, the governor. The governor's soldiers put a scarlet robe on Jesus and made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they mocked him. Here is the king of the Jews. They beat Jesus and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, This is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again, and then he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom, and there was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, this man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb so that no one could steal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat on it. The guards were so afraid that they fainted the angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen, just like he said he would. The women left the tomb quickly. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then, Jesus greeted them. The women worshipped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Jesus appeared to Peter and then to the other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witnessed that Jesus is alive. Jesus' death and resurrection is the center of the gospel. Jesus died to pay for our sins. Jesus is alive. God gives hope and true joy to everyone who trusts in Jesus. The story of Jesus' death makes Christianity different from any other religions. While others believe that Jesus was only just a good teacher, we Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God. The Bible says that we have all sinned, and sin caused us to be separated away from God. But God, our Father, sent His Son, Jesus, to earth to rescue sinners. And because of our punishment, we all deserve to be punished. But Jesus died for us. Can you just imagine how Jesus' disciples must have felt when they saw Jesus getting arrested? I mean, they must have been heartbroken, sad, I mean, afraid. They just probably didn't know what to do as they saw Jesus getting arrested, getting punished, and getting crucified among criminals. But on the third day, all of their sadness disappeared.
and it turned into joy as Jesus walked out of the tomb as their risen Lord. Jesus rose again so that he can give us eternal life with God. The gospel is absolutely the most important story that the world will ever hear. God had a plan to send a rescuer, so he sent his son, Jesus, into this world. He lived and he died and he is alive again. This is the gospel. This is the great news that Jesus is alive. And because we have joy in Jesus Christ, there is nothing for us to worry, and that includes sin and death. And God gave us victory because Jesus is victorious. So God gives hope to anyone who believes and trusts in Jesus Christ. I want you to all get up. Let's all get up. And we're going to sing our praises to our Lord Father. We are in joy and there is no more sadness because Jesus is alive and we have victory because Jesus is victorious. Let's all close our eyes and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for sending your only son, Jesus, to take the punishment for our sin in our place. Because of his resurrection, we can experience and we know what true joy and hope is, even in hard, difficult, challenging times. Help us point others to you by the way we live our lives and how we share the gospel with them. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen.
of Jesus' resurrection. And this is why there are missionaries and pastors and church leaders all over the world so that they can continue to share this true joy so that they will know who the true rescuer is. It's Jesus Christ. So I want to challenge you this week to find an opportunity to share this wonderful news. Share this great news that we have joy, that there is no more sadness, there is nothing to worry about, and we don't have to be lonely. There is only joy because we are victorious. It is only through Jesus Christ that we have joy and that we have victory. So I want you to continue to pray for missionaries and church leaders all over the world. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your Sunday school teacher. Pray for people that you know around you who are sharing this great news. And that includes you and me. So let's all pray for each other. Let's continue to pray that we will not be discouraged, that we'll be bold and we'll be faithful to share this great news. The good news that we have joy in Jesus Christ and that we have eternal life with God. Okay guys, what an amazing service we had today. Today is a wonderful day. It's a special day because this is the day that we received the greatest gift ever, which is salvation. We walk in victory over sin and there's only joy in our life and we get to spend our eternal life with God in heaven. I want you guys to have a wonderful week. Be safe and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.